Hi, I'm Jared, one of your reference librarians here at Polk State College. In this video, you will learn about Polk State College's cheating and plagiarism policies and also how to cite. To locate Polk State College's cheating and plagiarism policy, all you have to do is type in plagiarism into the search bar on Polk State's homepage. The policy will be the first link that appears cheating and plagiarism, Polk State College. I invite you to thoroughly review the cheating and plagiarism policy, but in this video, we're simply going to zero in on the examples provided. Some of the examples I would highlight to you in written assignments are number five, copying material exactly, essentially, or in part from outside sources while omitting appropriate documentation. Also, Plagiarism in written assignments. Plagiarism also includes handing in a paper to an instructor that was purchased from a term paper service created by another student or uh, other individual or downloaded from the internet and or presenting another person's academic work as one's own. Individual academic departments may provide additional examples in writing of what does and does not constitute plagiarism, providing that such examples do not conflict with the intent of this policy. Another example to be aware of, if you've already written an assignment and submitted it to another class, it's academically dishonest and considered plagiarism to reuse that assignment. One of the best ways to protect yourself against plagiarism is to review chapters six and seven in your APA manual. Chapter six goes over crediting sources while chapter seven uh, list several reference examples. I've also included a video link here that shows you how to cite an article from a database in APA style. Half the job is creating a reference page at the end of your research paper. The other half is properly using in-text citations. So we'll take a look at that now. This basic citation styles chart located on page 177 in your APA handbook shows you how to quickly format your in-text citations. The first two columns of the chart show you how to place in-text citations within your written work, while the last two columns show you how to place parenthetical citations at the end of quoted or paraphrased material. To illustrate that distinction, here we have an in-text example. Mather and Knight, parentheses 2006, examined young and older adults' abilities to detect happy, sad, angry, or neutral faces presented in a complex visual array. Alternatively, here's an example where the author's last names have been included in the parenthetical citation information. Be sure to use both styles in your research papers. The last example I'll be showing you is for a block style quote. When you have 40 or more words, display it in a freestanding block of text and omit the question marks. Indent the block of text half an inch from the left margin. And be sure to double space the entire quote and place your parenthetical citation after the final punctuation mark. If you have any additional questions, consult your APA handbook or contact a librarian. 